Hey guys, so I got another request here to do a speed test comparison between the Galaxy A3 2017 and the Galaxy J5 2016. Uh, the J5 was one of my favorite uh, budget phones uh, because it had a very nice screen, uh, very affordable and good battery life. So I wanted to see how the latest A3 did compare here. I'm going to start up at the same time. And uh, I think the J5 has come down in price. The J5 2016, you can get them for about 150 euro. Uh, obviously, the A3 a bit more expensive at 270. Uh, but with the A3, you are getting full waterproofing, arguably better processor. And uh, I think uh, as well, a slightly better screen based upon what I've seen. Uh, so you can see the boot up is nice and fast here on the left. Uh, I think the J5 came with a Snapdragon 410. So it wasn't a bad processor uh, by any means. And I think it came with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs internal storage. So quite similar to the A3 here. But obviously the build's not quite as premium. Uh, but they did add a nice chamfering to the uh, edges here, which gave it a touch of class. Uh, but it does feel a bit plasticky at the back here. So we're going to check out the performance nevertheless, uh, see if it's worth upgrading here. Maybe you have a J5 2016 and want to know, is it worth it to upgrade here? So we're going to see. So that was the A3. So I can definitely notice the screen on the A3 is uh, very nice and bright here. I think we do have the J5 on the, uh, in fact, we don't have it on the Max Max. So this is the Max Max. So it does actually get brighter with the outdoors mode, which is nice. But it doesn't have uh, auto brightness, which is not nice. Uh, so it looks like the A3 is a little bit snappier here when it comes to your basic apps. Obviously, we are running a slightly older version of TouchWiz here on uh, the J5. But it's good that they've updated it to Android Marshmallow. Uh, usually, you know, Samsung can be a little bit dodgy there when it comes to the J series. Uh, so you can see, very nice actually in terms of the optimization with the J5. It seems to be keeping up uh, pretty much, you know, not uh, too far behind. Just going to look at some games here. So very fast to go into the game on the A3. And let's try Traffic Rider. Again, A3 here. Uh, with the A3, you are getting lit buttons at the bottom as well, as well as a fingerprint reader. Uh, that's something to consider here. And finally, we do have uh, Slither. One uh, slightly annoying thing about the J5 is the lack of 5G Wi-Fi. That means downloading apps and games is very slow. Hence, we're using uh, smaller games here. Uh, but I think you can see here, comfortable victory on the left when it comes to the day-to-day -day performance. A massive step up really uh, in terms of the the uh, experience overall. So we're just going to look at some web browsing here and so far very similar story you know the A3 uh, very snappy as you can see just open up a few websites here uh, no contest really again I think it's also coming with a slightly newer version of TouchWiz, so you, the combination of that with the 5G Wi-Fi means no contest, 
really and finally we do have the multitasking here let's just see so both of them have the same amount of RAM and as you can see both of them do reload unfortunately you know Samsung does need to get through its head it needs 3 gigs of RAM I think to run uh, TouchWiz here absolutely identical when it comes to this no difference whatsoever maybe the the a3 is recovering a little bit faster uh, which is what I would expect for a new phone so that uh, is some consolation uh, we're just gonna have a look at the games I bet it doesn't hold them in memory yeah you see uh, so quite poor when it comes to your games management on both of them but then again you know with the j5 i don't think you're going to be using it for hardcore gaming anyway it is coming with an adreno uh, processor uh, but nevertheless i think it's done quite well in terms of the day-to-day -day apps you know it's a well optimized device uh, when it comes to going in and out of stuff uh, it's got a slightly bigger display than the a3 you know it's got front-facing flash as well which is quite nice and also a uh, very nice clicky button here uh, so I think uh, do we have uh, expandable storage yes you did with the, the ability to open the back here as you can see which is nice as well and a removable battery uh, so if you're into your removable battery that could be uh, something here I don't think we have removable batteries on the latest uh, A series unfortunately uh, but overall I think the A3 is a slightly better phone obviously in most ways like the waterproofing and type C uh, slightly uh, nicer screen auto brightness and uh, probably a better camera as well uh, but uh, yeah just a quick little comparison here for those of you who requested it and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed the video